Okay, I'm back, hopefully. We'll see how the frame rate does, huh? I'm getting invested in this world again. I don't want to stop playing this. We'll see if it lets me not break down and die. There's some big dudes there when we snuck by him. Oh, what level? Five? Oh boy. Holy. Wow. Alright, where are we going on this map here? What's not coming up here? Oh, there's the probe point. Oh boy. They're both gonna see me. I'm not gonna like it. Stop turning around. I want to be behind you. You don't understand. Okay, so far so good. I like tank mode. Anvil rock. That's cool. Okay. Just don't be discovered. You've got just a short period of time. Okay, okay. Slowly walk away. Woo! Ah, uh, where next? We could try facing this guy, but I feel it's not going to end well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're angry with me. I'm very, very naughty. Yes, yes. Full rock one. Doing a Transformers thing there over and over again. Okay. Whew. We're doing good. We're at 11% of this place now. We're making good progress here. There's another probe point, which will help us out a lot. Ooh, there's a couple of those big guardian things. It's a new one, right? Yes, it is. It's a warp warp point too. Handy for later. All of you are low level. I don't care about any of you. Oh boy. Don't turn around, please. You fix it yet? Yeah, I'm good. Refresh, guys. He's turned around. Get out of the way! Okay, we're good. Sweet. Again, I'm not sure we're ready for 45 level, level 45 dudes. The little one we could probably take at 43. The big ones. Even at lower levels, they're bigger and nastier. Keep on running. Keep on running. Whew. Okay. We appear to be safe. Where are we on this map? we go oh okay way over there all right so just just over this way there should be a probe point civil I'm whoa whoa almost jumped directly into the sea 
Just want to throw that out there. Can we take one little 40-something dude? Yeah, let's take him. Yeah, I think we got this little guy. He doesn't seem like much. Nice. Oh, back, says Kiwi. Welcome back, Kiwi. Yeah, that little dude's nothing on his own. Yeah, small dude at 40. Very different from a big dude at 40. Where is this probe point? Oh, hello, flying dudes up there. Is it, is it way up there? It's in the ocean. It's hard to know. Well, let's just keep on exploring. We're at 14%. We're almost done exploring. Then hopefully we can move on to a story mission. Go, go, go! Run away! Run away! Whoa, okay. That's a large fellow. You're like at his heels. What are you doing, bud? We got company. Keep going. They're still on to you. Watch out. Oh, man. Oh, nice. A new probe point. Please don't be in a fight. Walk slowly behind you. Install the data probe. Be over... Over 15%. Let's get out of here. It's also a very big thing. I thought that's the wrong spot. Into the blade barracks we go. We have to go outside the blade barracks, probably. Okay, here we go. Whew. Jay, did you find where I was talking about? It's not near the northern border. Uh, if not, it's near the northern border to Lava Confident. Continents and just scan the edges. Oh no, it's the spot though! Sorry, I was too nervous. I just had to get out of there. I fear for my precious skull and my credits that would disappear with it if it dies. He says, whatever, we can find it later in the stream. Yeah. Or later in the game. Because I'm sure I'll come back to this again. Such a good game. White Aces did it work. Okay, so now we've explored at least 15% of Silvalum. Requirements not met. Ah, the Manhunt Affinity Mission, huh? Alright, we gotta find this Manhunt Affinity Mission. Google shall again come to our aid. Unless any of you knows where it is. Chronicles X Manhunt Affinity Mission Location. There we go. Okay, client's location is the Blade Tower. And the client is Vandom. Okay. All right, we can do that. Oh, the hoops to jump through to beat a, or to even start a story mission. Q says, well, Jay, actually, you got skull insurance, so you get at least five freebies with the skulls. I know, but I don't, I don't want to use any of the freebies. You know what I mean? 
Oh, you think this is the mission that you hate? Uh oh. We'll see. We're about to find out. It's not very far distance to go to find this. Oh, come on. You can't jump on there. Wuss. It should be there. Listen. And I'm right here. Okay. Manhunt, right? Nice. All right. Let's do it. I don't know if this is a different one or something. The mission is itself, but the requirements suck, and I know is you have to do it. Words, and I know because you have to do it. Okay. See? You're perfect. Now then, remember the night the ganglion hit us? Your team took oh, on we can turn the game up a little, huh? Real fast. Seems so quiet. A big old lug and one nasty little lady. Dagon and Reese, I think it was. There's no forgetting those... I always turn the game down and I feel... that I shouldn't. It's always too quiet. Could they be planning another attack? That or who knows what. Whatever they're up to, I can tell you, it ain't gonna be good for us. Muscle man, not worry. His mustache hair is gray. Team Tatsu <laughs> is on the case. Right. I hate Those you, little guy. I hate you. We fought them once and we beat them once. We're the best choice to take this on. We'll leave immediately. Thanks, girl. Reports that the pair who raided the new LA have been sighted in Noctilum. Go there and investigate. Alright, let's see what happens. So let's return to our skills. Then we will jump over to Noctilum. You have to get four affinity with Gwyn. Four? Ouch. Why well, says, what's the stream plan for the weekend, Jay? Aw, that's so sweet. You think that I plan? <laughs> I am flying by the seat of my pants all the time, White Ace. I have no idea. <laughs> Something at some time. Probably in the, the evening. Maybe. Maybe in the morning. Could be a morning cup. You never know, it's a mystery. Keep those alerts on. It's either 10 a.m. or 11 a.m., maybe noon. And if it's in the evening, then it's probably 7.30. I put 65 hours into the game? That doesn't seem right, does it? I might have left it running a few times. Because I feel like I should be farther at 65 hours. Uh, Noctilum. Okay, perfect. We got a spawn point. Very close. He says, don't do them in the morning because I don't wake up then. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes that works best for me. But it wouldn't be any earlier than 10, 10 central. Are you even worth my time? You're just a lowly level 20. Big sword right off the bat. Boom! One hit. Can't handle the truth. Easy peasy. It was easy peasy. I see level 44 over there. Maybe let's go pick a fight, huh? Hey, this is one of those guys we saw a lot of in the other area. Big buddy, big old hit. Now we're talking. Let's see you yeah, resistant. Well, I don't like the sound of that. Good, good. Recover all my attacks. So I need a big one again.
Attack him, guys. Attack him. I didn't get the thing to extend my uh, bind. How are they doing? There we go. Perfect. Shield up. Ooh, get out of that. Get out. Get out. Get out now. And run away. I do not want that to explode. Sam, I am. Exit your skulls. Everyone abandon your skulls. That was a fight we shouldn't have picked. Good thing we didn't face a bunch from that other area. All right. Scary. Jay, if you touch down the right stick, you can lock onto a body part and take it down. That's probably some really good advice. Thank you. Lock onto a body part. Something very close. There's a ping happening over here. There we go. We ran into the trigger. It's still smoking. Bad guys campfire. Bad guys campfire. Oh, I want to be able to stream Dragon Quest VIII for you guys in 3DS. I'd need another one of these cameras though, and even at that, it would still be a crappy quality, you know. Wouldn't be great. It'd be something. It wouldn't be great. But I would get to play Dragon Quest VIII and other 3DS games. Good thinking. All right, let's give this place the standard perimeter sweep. Why well, says, "Hey, did you get the new Resident Evil game?" I did not get the new Resident Evil game. I uh, I got uh, Dragon Quest VIII on 3DS, and uh, no more games this week. So, that guy's the size of a we'll man. see. Maybe in the coming weeks. We Looks cool, though. Looks really cool. E everyone's saying that it's uh, doing really well or that it's uh, a, a return to its roots. That sounds great. I can't wait to try it. Sounds really sweet. But uh, I love RPGs. Even if I don't... Even if I very rarely complete them, I love playing them for... Dozens of hours, and uh, we've heard Dragon Quest VIII is one of those games that I felt like we had to support, since Square Enix will send more Dragon Quest our way, instead of saying, hey, it didn't sell, so we're not sending you anymore. All right. we should be able to handle Let's do it. Let's see what we, can find we should be able to handle them, especially from inside of Skells. Right? What I says I was going to buy Dragon Quest Eight, but I bought Mario Kart Seven instead. Nice. Kiwi says I just got mine last week. Mario Kart Seven. Was there like a sale on Mario Kart Seven or something like that? It's a great game. I love Mario Kart Seven. I love Mario Kart Seven. In fact, the portable Mario Karts are some of the best ones. The Game Boy Advance one's a little rough, but the DS one is really, really good. And so is Mario Kart Seven. Make me want to play those now. Hey, I could play seven on the stream if I get another camera. <laughs> See now where we headed. Further into Noctilum, okay? Where? Over here. Oh, Mario Kart 7. 
I love portable games so much. Because as a Nintendo fan throughout my life, mostly I've played uh, Game Boy games. I mean, that's the majority of the games because I was always going wherever my parents took me. So my Game Boy went with, you know? How do I get there? Let's try going over this way first. When it says, why play 7 when you can play 8 Deluxe? Oh, heck yes. So good. He says you can even do viewer races. We could, yeah. Oh man, I cannot wait for 8 Deluxe. It's going to be great. But I do have to wait. 5 weeks. 5 little weeks. That's not much. Big dude. Please don't see me and kill me. Oh, this is the really good music. I love Noctilum. Hey, 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 we got an exploration point here. Yes, easy peasy. We got 3,000 credits for that. Nice. Just for looking at some thing in the ground. Have we been here? Yes, we have. Where are we? Not where we need to be. Is this the right way? It's the right direction-ish. Right general direction, we'll call it that. What's that? Archaeological three. Shucks. Can we jump on this. Then can we jump up there? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can we jump? No. What if we jump here? Grab a little, yes, okay. Jump here. Really close. It's hard to float around with this thing. Then you jump here, oh yeah. That feels like progress. Might not be, but it feels like progress. Oh, well, it didn't really lead me anywhere. Okay, oh, this is this is totally it. Oh, yes. It's just around the corner over here, right? You guys gonna fight me, or what's the deal? Alright, you guys fighting me? Is that what's happening? Because I'll, I'll destroy you. I will do that. Big old sword. Scale fights are just the coolest. Big sword. Who's left? Shoulder charge. Another ninja looking sword. Earthbound Online, that would be sweet. Like an MMO. MMO. I can't imagine that as Earthbound, but if it was still Earthbound World, that would be cool, no matter what. Man, I cannot wait for whatever Earthbound announcement is coming our way. Reggie was hinting pretty heavily at something. Something's coming. Whether it's Mother 3 or whatever, something's coming. Here. The map went away. Okay, it's 
back. Let's get this started. Hey, yeah, there you go. We locked on. Thanks, man. Weird fighting without my skull right now. Normally I am fighting with the skull. Yeah, I got one of his limbs down. Thanks for the advice. That was really helpful. I felt like this game didn't explain combat all that well. We kind of just had to figure it out. I do like how unique the combat is. There's no RPG that plays like this. It's very cool. I love how live action it is. Very involved and not at all turn-based. It's, it's the most modern feeling RPG I think I've ever felt are these Xenoblade fighting mechanics. They're so, so slick and smooth. Another one. All right, let's do this. Take me on, boy. Oh, yeah. Overdrive. Failed, sorry. Gotcha. Almost enough to take the guy out. Whitey says, I wish they would make another Gundam Wing game. Oh man, Gundam. Where can I watch Gundam? Because I haven't seen Gundam in forever. And I love Gundam games and movies and TV shows. Now, this feels like the wrong way. Oh, but this could be the right way. What? What is happening? Now we're skeletless. That's not good. Well, this is the way we came. Let's our skulls as long as we're heading right back where we came from. You think on Crunchyroll? I thought I checked Crunchyroll. I can check again, but I felt like it wasn't there. It's tragic. It's so good. Even the original Gundam, which was what, like in like the 70s or something crazy. Even that series was really good. Still is. Can I be done with this battle? Okay. So something like right here. Is it down below? Oh, it might be down here. Okay. Here we are. We've done it. Back, as long as there's a cutscene, we might as well check Crunchyroll. Crunchy roll Gundam. It's not our pair after all. Yeah, but who are they? Humans. What are they doing here? Who cares? Let's see. Wipe them out. Mobile suit Gundam Iron Blooded <laughs> Orphans. Looks like we have is no on choice. here, but just like a random assortment of F episodes. <laughs> okay, fight has begun, so let's do that. A bunch of soldiers on foot? Seems kind of stupid. They're gonna get absolutely annihilated. Oh yeah, you get in this mode, use the big attack again. Yep, there's a dead soul here for sure. You know, the fact that they're not dead already is testament to how strong these little tiny humans or whatever they are really are. 
surely they would be dead with a 60 foot robot hitting you like that. <laughs> Some of these weapons are so cool. I know why you brought up Gundam. This reminds you of Gundam. And why wouldn't it? It's so cool. Kiwi's never seen Gundam. Sorry, you should look it up. Right. Gundam's really cool. My name is Elma. I didn't get to watch as much as I wanted to, but it is really cool. What it says, I would say a really good anime I like is Inuyasha. Oh, yeah, Inuyasha. Um, everyone always points to Death Note as a classic anime that anyone can get into. It's short, it's really intriguing, and a great, um, smart concept. Really well done. Um, what other animes did I watch? Little bits of things here and there. Wolf's Rain, uh, Cowboy Bebop. Let's go on Express Concern for the two of them. Express some more. Um, listen. There was I more. I can't remember what other ones. Uh, FLCL. It's a weird little mini series. Quirky, can. strange. I hope you can believe us. Uh. Come on, there's more, and I don't remember. But uh, I, I am peripherally, you know, an anime fan. I am not like a lot of folks out there that have seen just about anything under the sun. They like to watch them with Japanese voice actors and English dub. I don't like that. I prefer English dub. Um, you know, I'd rather play video games and watch anime, but there's some really cool anime out there. Oh, of course, Dragon Ball Z. There's a lot of filler in there. So I hope Dragon Ball Super is better. Less filler. Oh, Wadia says, I only watched Gundam, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, and Inuyasha. Yu Yu Hakusho, I think, was one that I used to watch. Now that I'm thinking of it. Rurouni Kenshin. That's a good one. Rurouni Kenshin's very cool. Yeah, Dragon Ball is more comical. I like Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z more dramatic, but very cool. Very slow. Very slow. But the second season of Dragon Ball Z is like really tense and really well done. But all the other seasons have so much filler. So much. Kiwi says, Yes, I just beat 150cc cup on Mario Kart 7. Nice. Very well done, sir. Which one? The Star Cup or what? In 150cc. Mushroom? Alright, now where do you want me to go? Back to Primordia. Industrial District. Okay. There. Bye, Noctilum. Mushroom, nice. So you're just getting started on the 150cc. There's a lot. There's a lot of awesome content in Mario Kart 7. <sighs> I love too that it is now such a deep tradition for them to remake old tracks. That's so cool. That's so cool. Whoa. 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 Here we go. Why is this? Could you imagine Mario Kart with online play? There is Mario Kart with online play. Both seven and eight have online play. Oh Mario oh you mean like Super Mario Kart the original SNES? Yeah, Over that'd be here. pretty cool. I loved How the like battle mode something? in both the original and 64. I really hope the battle us, mode in Deluxe is fun. I really hope it is. Because after like 64, battle mode course. never really seemed to feel quite as good a, ever need, again. Just let us know, okay? So I hope Anytime it's back. Problem, hope it's back. You, in, you know, I hope it feels right. You feels good and it's fun. Kiwi says, but yeah, my favorite remix is Mushroom Gorge. Can't get enough. Yeah, that's a good one. 
All tracks are fun. I don't, even Baby Park, which is like a really small loop and you do like seven laps or something really, really quickly. Even that really simple track is a lot of fun. Okay, now what's... Have I beat... Did I beat my mission? <gasps> did I beat it? Let's look. I can move on in the story. Yes! Excellent. Let's get inside them blade barracks. Why he says give it the HD treatment like Street Fighter Ultra 2? Yeah. Oh man, the original Super Mario Kart? Oh, that would be so sweet. That would be so sweet. Well, actually, yeah, no, I know why you brought up uh, online multiplayer. Because Super Nintendo games are getting online multiplayer on the Switch. Ah, I wasn't following you there completely. Nice. No, that's going to be amazing. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Great point, White Ace. Great point. Awesome. What else would have really sweet online play in the SNES era? What should I whip up today? You, last, last cooking item, please. You. That is a great idea. Let's see. Mario Kart, obviously excellent. Mario would be a little boring because uh, Mario World, because they it was sort of asynchronous. Only one player would play at a time, and then when that person died or completed the level, it went to the next player. So you'd be sitting around doing nothing for a long time, so I don't think that would work out great. Well, this was a big multiplayer game. I can't remember. I don't know why I'm struggling so much. There has to be more than that on Super Nintendo. I guess I'm maybe just half paying attention to the game here. But, uh, yeah, that is a really cool feature. And I hope they do that with Game Boy Advance games. Um, 64 games. That'd be cool. Um... Yeah, Mario Kart 64. Again, Mario Kart Online. Apparently that's what I love most. It is a great multiplayer game, you have to admit. Oh my goodness! The original Super Smash Brothers Online Battle? That would be so amazing! I love the original Super Smash Brothers. I can't tell you how many hours I played. Well, before that, I need to clear something up. Commander? I know you're wondering. After the bogus light bulb leak, we had the Pathfinders turned inside out. Sure enough, we found evidence that someone messed with Frontier Nav. They planted that phony data. You mean... We got a spy. That's right. One of our own is working with the Gangrene. This was an inside job. One question, Commander. Like we don't have enough to worry about. Here I am, sending you Somehow I unplugged my microphone, but she's got a cone in her head. She keeps trying to lick her tail, and she's got uh, a wound there that we're trying to heal, so we're trying not to let her do that. But very sweet. Layla. Hi. Hi, honey. Hi. Who's a good girl? Good girl. Yeah, good girl. Oh, so sweet. What's over here? Look at the camera. Point, it's not like <laughs> she just wants to look mistakes. right in the eyes. Hi, baby. Hello. When they your Good girl. To begin with. Good girl. You agree? You're so sweet. Good girl. Well, but. All right. That's enough fawning over the little pup. She'll still be here, and I'll still be petting her, but you won't have to watch me anymore doing that. <laughs> Your orders, Commander? Well, put it She's such a little way. sweetheart. Who am I ah, I'm a huge dog person. Sorry, and guys. Sorry. Right. Gush. Time is over. I've got your next assignment. 
See uh, why he says unless they let you play two people at a time on Super Mario World, that would be cool. Yeah, we have no idea what you're saying. Oh, that's right, because it came undone. Kiwi says popper. Why he says hey satellite? What's satellite? Oh, with the big dish in her head. <laughs> that's funny. I like that. Kiwi says they need GameCube Virtual Console. That's the rumor, right? It's been a long-running rumor that that's a thing. So let's hope that it is, because that would be very cool. Luigi's like Mansion on the go. Stuff. Just saying, guy. I'm just saying. Also, Super Smash, Smash Bros. Melee. I mean, everyone talks about how that's the best Super Smash Bros. And I don't agree, but I do agree that it is the fastest Smash Brothers by a mile. It is the original Smash Brothers dialed up to 11. It's nuts. I do think the most modern Smash Brothers, Wii U and 3DS, is the best thing. It's the most balanced, it's the biggest roster, I think it's the most fun. But I do love all the Smash Brothers. All of them. They're all so good. Why it says just give me Mario Part Online. You mean Cart? Yeah, I think I think they really will give us Mario Kart, Super Mario Kart Online. That's gonna be great. Mario Kart 64 Online would be awesome, and uh, Double Dash Online would be awesome too. Now, they've done the Wii Virtual Console for Wii U. Maybe they'll also have Wii games on Switch. Joy-Cons can handle it. Um, maybe they'll also have a Wii U Virtual Console on Switch, but only on games that were compatible with uh, without touch controls and stuff, without motion controls. Though, technically, it could use the gyroscope controls of the two Joy-Cons connected to the screen, specifically. That'd be weird though, because then you couldn't play it on your TV that way. They probably won't do that. Mm, but you could do yes. certain games. Aren't you definitely you the could. Most beautiful thing ever. We are gonna have so much fun together. That is a very interesting outfit there, lady. Why well, it says I was playing Brawl Party, Mario Party. It was another I was playing Brawl the other day as Solid Snake. Oh man. I had so many great memories in college playing Brawl. Everybody played Smash Brothers, and everybody loved Brawl. Even for its faults, which mostly, in my opinion, Brawl's biggest and only fault was tripping. Why was tripping in there? It was awful. I guess there were some other faults where some of the characters were really nerfed hard, like Samus was suddenly terrible, except when she turned into Zero Suit Samus and she was good, but in her Samus suit, she was not good. Um, they couldn't patch any problems. The online was just nasty. Um, but the character roster was really awesome, and it was a really fun game to play. It had some awesome maps, and it looked good. And I like the Subspace Emissary as something to do My on your own, or something different to do with it. I thought it was a lot of fun. So I liked Brawl a lot. It's not my favorite one, but it is, uh, it is very good. Kiwi agrees, Brawl's pretty fun. How can you disagree? It's so good. I love that Smash Brothers has become a giant franchise for Nintendo. So I had so much fun with that one on 64. I was worried they weren't going to make another one. And now it is one of the biggest releases that they've ever had. They put it on 3DS. <laughs> that was so cool being able to take it on the go, but I was afraid it was going to break my little slider nub. So I stopped playing it on my 3DS, even though I loved it. But the Switch has real joysticks on the go. So, no fear, Shakespeare. We should probably save. It's been a while since we've saved. Hey, baby. Hi. You like hanging out in here while I'm streaming, huh? Is that what you like? Off the silver one again. I am very thirsty. Whitey says, I'm really hoping for Mario Party Online. That would be sweet. Again, there might be a lot of waiting around, though, as the other person's taking their turn. 
Uh, then says, Brawl is good and never really played online with the Wii. Yeah, and you shouldn't have because it was awful. <laughs> it was not good. Uh, what he says, I still remember the Super Smash Bros. TV commercials. I sort of remember them, like, if I'm, like, thinking of my actual memories. I've seen it recently on YouTube, so I remember it in that sense. But I only kind of remember them on TV. I just remember like going on IGN and seeing about it and being really excited and when we finally got Smash Brothers, oh man, hundreds and hundreds of hours I've spent in that game. The original Super Smash Brothers. So good. Let's see, we talk to these guys and... A little more experience in our stuff. Only a little more. Um, which ones can we level up? We have 18,000. Doesn't give us a lot, does it? So we're halfway there. Might as well just start working on this one that you're so close or you're so far in. Spend half of it, huh? Invest half of it. Get away. Alright. Off to Silverum we go. Kiwi just scored first place in the Flower Cup in 150cc. Nice, man. You're cruising along. See what I did there? Do you see? Uh, what he says, I remember going to visit my aunt and my uncle and being excited because my little cousin got the game the day of launch. That was always cool. Launch day was tough to do back then when you were probably at the mercy of your parents buying it for you on launch day. I don't know about you, but my mom was not a big fan of how much I love video games. My dad didn't care so much, but... Then again, he was the one that introduced me to video games. He, um... He had a ColecoVision. And he showed me how to play video games in his ColecoVision. And this old, weird, uh, handheld called, uh, Electronic Football 2 from Mattel. And it was literally just a few little blinking LED lights. But to this day, still one of the most fun games of football I've ever played. Electronic Football 2, so good. Anyway, so my dad showed me video games on his old systems. And uh, I have never looked back since. I upgraded to my brother's Game Boy. And then one year for Christmas... They bought all three of us, me and my two brothers, um, Sega Game Gears, which is insane. I know they weren't doing so well back then, so I have no idea how they afforded three Sega Game Gears, which were expensive because they were full color, backlit. They were no Game Boys. They were not a cheap gaming system. They were high end, and they were very cool. I want that probe, but... Who's fighting at me right now? I just want this probe point. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's that thing. Right, right. I think we want to go in here. Maybe. I'm just going for it. Run away! Run away! Is this it? That's all that's here? Oh, that's disappointing. Huh. Well, these guys are little. We might as well kill them. It's a great mentality, isn't it? Ah, they're small. We might as well just kill them dead. 
Not an RPG, it's totally fine. It's all for experience. Gotta get stronger. Oh, good, good. Use this. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, bonus. Just barely got that one. Shoulder charge. Who's left? Who wants some next? Man, these are tough little bugs. They're taking a lot of abuse. Let's keep it up. There we go. Don't mind if I do. Ah, this is twisting, turning labyrinth of stuff. This is like deeper than it seems. Let's see. Well, it says my mom and dad didn't care. I wasn't bothering them, so they didn't care. <laughs> I spent so much time, you know. My mom was one of those go outside and play types. Uh, my friends, uh, my friend that I went to, over to his house like every single day, every single day. His mom didn't care quite as much. But we would literally spend the entire day, so sometimes she'd come down and say, Alright, it's been X number of hours. Go outside for a bit. And say, you know, come on, you're ruining our lives, you know, complain about it. But, uh, we spent more than our fair share of time playing games. Uh, let's see, Kiwi says, my first console was my DS and I had Pokemon Fire Red. And Lo Lego Star Wars 2. DS Lite. Oh man, I never got a DS Lite. I got a launch DS. And I love that thing. But I stopped playing it after a couple of years. It wasn't until the 3DS came around that I came back to DS games, bought a bunch of them, and started catching up on some of the things that I've missed out on. Some of them. I don't even know why I didn't play my DS anymore. It's just how it worked out. He's a bigger dude. I don't want to shoot this little thing anymore. Can we focus on the bigger guy? Oh, is he ever dead? How is this little bug so tough? Big sword. Wham! 8,000 damage. Not bad, not bad. Let's see what this one does. Ooh, not much. He seems resistant. 3,000. Here's the big one. This is the, the big damage. 24,000. Alright. When it says, my first system was an NES, and I had that till 94 when I got my SNES. Apex, what's up, man? Welcome, haven't seen you in a while. And he says, Pokemon. I like to do the emotes. Cool, Q says it's 9, stream ending soon, yeah. Yeah. Apex says, it's only 7 where I live. Well then, my stream ends at 7, you're <laughs> Let's check out what's going on in here before we... Throw in the towel. Um, there are bigger monsters in here than I would like. Much bigger. Much, much bigger. Wow. Get out. Get out now. Time to go, baby. This was clearly not the way I was supposed to go. 
Alright, I think we should save, and I think we should probably quit. White Ace says... Oh, hi, Layla. Hi, baby. Hello. Here, clanging around. Uh, White Ace says, uh, that's how it was with my childhood. Friend, his mom and dad w were separated, and they felt guilty, so him and his brother got all the good games, and we would play hours and hours of video games. That's where I was introduced to Star Wars for the first time. Nice. Uh, his mom would rent a VCR, rent a VCR from Blockbuster with the original trilogy. Good stuff. Apexes. Hey, I got two more hours, and nothing much. Well, sorry that to to come and then and ended on here, Apex. But I gotta get going. Thanks for coming, guys. Uh, hope to see you over the weekend here again. I'm not sure exactly what time I'm gonna stream and what it'll be, so. Keep your uh, alerts on here on Twitch. Also, uh, check me out on Twitter at, at 5J. Check me out on Instagram at 5J Gaming. No space. Um, Facebook.com slash 5J Gaming. Again, no space. And then if you look on YouTube uh, for 5J, you'll find my stuff. Um, so, on those social media places, I always post ahead of time a photo of what I'm going to play and at what time. So, I'll give you a little bit of a warning. And then, of course, if you have your alert on Twitch, you'll know when I go online, so you can also be aware in just the nick of time. All right, guys, thanks so much, and hopefully I'll see you over the weekend. Bye, guys.